Oh, fish on. All right, come to Papa, baby. Come to Papa, let's show Ted what we got out here. Come on, baby. Get your butt up here. Oh, pretty decent size. What's up, guys? Welcome back. So today I'm out here with uh, Ted. Way back there. And I uh, wanted to show him uh, how it's done here out here. But at the same time, I want to share with uh, you guys some more uh, tips and uh, you're probably wondering like what what's there to show is just a hook and a bait well that is mostly true um, I want to show you the setup that I use um, sliding sinker uh, hook what kind of hook and um, let's see if I have So this is the kind of hooks I use for sheep heads out here. Okay. Not sure if the camera can capture that clearly or not, but it's uh, it's old school eagle claw. And uh, they don't even have the size on here, but it it. Uh, it's size two, so not too off, but size two. First step, anchor. Drop your anchor down. Yeah, so the way that sheep heads eat, um, they like stationary food. So uh, if you're trying to catch sheep heads and you're trying to troll for it, you're never going to catch them. Uh, second thing is if you're drifting, chances are it's a, there's a high chance you're not going to catch them by drifting and dragging your bait either. So the best way to get them, anchor. Step two. Sliding sinker setup. Sliding sinker. Got a couple beads. And the reason for the couple beads is because, well, this hook, as you noticed, the eye is straight. It's not bent or slanted, okay? Straight eye, I use beads. For slanted hooks, I'm gonna show you a slanted hook setup in a second, but um, this particular way, um, I'm able to catch, um, uh, you know, more sheep heads this way. Although this way is more, often I catch females this way. But the male setup, uh, sheep heads, is on the other setup. Let me show you guys the male setup. Drop it straight down. No need to cast out here. I call this the male setup sheep heads. Targeting males, well, it's not really targeting males, it's just targeting bigger sheep heads. This is the setup. This is the setup I use. Make sure your hooks are able to take the entire shrimp. This is what I do. Uh, you guys can look up on how to hook up shrimp, but this is what I do. And now, the weight gain. Five hours later. Oh, fish on. All right, come to Papa, baby. Come to Papa, let's show Ted what we got out here. Come on, 
Come on, baby. Get your butt up here. Oh, pretty decent size. Decent size. This one is. Whoa, what is this? It's a sheep head. I think that's a keeper. It is a keeper, bro. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, I see it now. It's, um, I'd say about 17. Try out a new spot as well, maybe a couple new spots. Um, just to see if I can find other areas where fishes are uh, hiding at. See that? Where there's smoke, there's fire. So wherever there's sea lions, there's fish. Look at where they're hanging out. So, like I said, where, where there's smoke, there's fire. I mean, these guys gotta eat something around here. So. I'm not sure if you guys can tell in the video, uh, but uh, the um, jetty surrounding the uh, sea lions, there, there's billions of mussels. So I did that for about an hour and um, I hooked onto something uh, big. Um, as you know, uh, it's a drop shot setup with the uh, Berkeley Gold mullet. Um, chances are it was a halibut, but um, um, I lost it. Uh, but you can count on me coming back here um, again and again. All right, that wraps it up for today, guys. Thanks uh, for uh, tuning in. All right guys, so uh, uh, unfortunately I only caught one sheephead today um, and uh, it's about 16, 16 and a half inches. Um, yeah, so uh, 16 and a half and then um, Mr. Ted here caught a sand bass that's 16 inches so uh, I'm gonna give this uh, sheep head to Mr. Ted um, and uh, I hope uh, him and his wife can en enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoyed the video so if you do please like subscribe and I uh, give a thumbs up on the video thanks for watching guys see you next time